my very first degree was game design. So I studied game design as a young kid and I was obsessed with games. I played all the time and that is kind of what led me down that path. What I pretty quickly figured out was all of the creation of the game, not me. The coding wasn't really me. The 3D design, I, I couldn't really grasp it. So didn't turn out to be my path, but maybe now it can be. So let's hop into Total and have a look at Spline. Spline is a really cool uh, tool where you can create 3D scenes, you can create cool effects, and you can even create games. So what I want to do today is basically just take you through what a game could look like. So first, we're going to delete these um, divs that we have here. We just want one that is um, 100 VH, uh, sorry, V. W, which is view width, which basically means that you take up 100% of whatever view uh, you have, and then view height. So if you're on a uh, phone, it'll go 100% to each side, both height and width, and the same on a desktop. So it'll be full screen either way. And then what we want to do is we want to put in a spline um, scene. I'm going to click Packages, and then I'm going to search for Spline. And then Spline is going to show up here. And you can see what this looks like. You have a Spline scene. You can interact with it. Um, and there is a bunch of details down here for how you can work with it inside Total. We're going to install it. And then when it's installed, we're going to go back to our homepage. And then in this div, we're going to insert a, um, we're going to click E and then we're going to insert a component which is the spline viewer. So now we've got the viewer in place. If we click on the viewer, we can see that there are some things that happen here. Um, you have URL, hint, and a bunch of other things. And I'm going to take you through how you can work with each of those in just a bit. First, we're going to head over to spline because we, we need to export a scene. So Let's have a look at this. This is a uh, camping game that someone has created. So we're going to play around with this. And let's say 36% sounds great. We're going to export this. And then click Export in the top. And then we're going to go to the viewer, which is here. And we are going to copy this link right here. And once that's copied, we go back over to Total, And then. In the URL, you simply paste it in, hit enter, and then the scene will load. And what's really cool about this is if I now click um, T for test mode, I can now interact with this game. So I'm using my keyboard right now. You can probably see that I'm pressing left, right, and forward. I can even go backwards. Um, so pretty cool. You can play around with this, and it gives you this. It has this little funky music that's going. So we're just going to keep this going for the rest of this session. If I click Viewer again, there's a couple of things that I can do. I can set the width to 100%. I can set the height to 100%. I could also set it to um, 700 pixels. And then it'll adjust basically to the different values that I set. But I'm going to keep these blank. I can also set the loading to, um, I want to do this lazy loaded. So it only loads after I kind of, I'm just going to refresh because otherwise we're going to have this funky music going. Um, but yeah, you can, you can do things like lazy load. You can do auto. And then it kind of loads um, based on what specifications you have. You can even set a background. Uh, in this case, I want a completely white background. And then it's going to set that for you. Um, and there is a bunch of other things that you, can, that you can set. You can even set, like if you want a spinning loader, you can set the animation type. All of this information is available to you when you go to the 
spline package. Um, so here you can see exactly how you can work with the different things, what kind of events you have. Um, and th that should give you a good sense of like how you can mani manipulate this. There is also a thing called hint, which is essentially when your 3D stage um, loads, it'll have a little hover or, or yeah, a, a hover effect where that indicates that, hey, you can drag and, and drop the scene around so you, like it shows you how to interact with the 3D scene. So that's pretty cool. Um, I wanted to show you how this worked so you could build a game for yourself. I'm gonna hit back and then I think I'm gonna continue playing the game that I just built. Awesome, cool, thanks, bye.